and get up. keeps dying. Alright guys, we've made it to the main cave. Super cool breeze coming out of here. Cool. Oh, wow. Is there a right or wrong way? No, you can't get through there. No? I bet you can. Let me see. Watch your melon. Watch your melon. Okay, that is very tight. Yeah, I'll go ahead of you. Everyone, watch your head. So just go slow. Oh, cool. Right shoulder first, and face left wall, or just crawl through. This is narrow. Oh. Yeah, just go slow so if you do bump your head, it's not like super painful. Well, it's great that you have the light and no one else can see anything. Oh. Thanks, Dad. Sorry, guys, hang on. Thanks. I appreciate, be... appreciate the fat ones going first. I didn't think it would be well, just tight. You can see with your eyes. Does it open up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I sure hope this isn't it. Really cool though. Come on through. Yeah, you're good. Just keep your head straight. Up. Right. Watch your head. I think it just gets really skinny. Keep shining it. So it looks like it stops there, but we just pull in the middle. Oh wow. Again, it does keep going, but Yeah, it's probably not part and of it. And it gets like a really tiny. Thank you, Watch your head, babe. Put your head down, head down. I got a picture of you? Yeah, but what? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Well, the girls are going through what's called the cheese grater, so we'll see what they look like on the way out. Yeah. He moved around a lot of his fat. <laughs> yeah, you might have to squat down a little bit. Watch your heads. Yeah, you kind of help each other out if you see something that... I can't see nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there goes Cheyenne and oh, the cheese grater. Oh, I just jumped out the whole Pepsi. All right, we're at the uh, next self-guided cave. This one's about 54 meters, so definitely bigger. It was only one kilometer hike to get to this one, but it felt like it was a five hour kilometer hike. It is uh, steep, so just be careful. Yeah, I do. Cool. It's called small head syndrome. 
All right, uh, we'll wait for Shine to get down. Me, me poppage. All right. Not all my head protection. Sorry, it's okay. That's what your uh, your little poop there is for. Yeah, that's why I put it up there so I can feel when I hit something. You can keep walking. I kind of think she was being a little over dramatic with the climbing and yeah okay just you keep an eye on all the gear You definitely pretty first. neat. Don't you dare say that. And cast our video you guys want to know. Capture me dying. Oh. So definitely does go in further. Cool. <laughs> no, it's this is gonna be super safe here. <laughs> Careful with your feet because you have pipes on the side, Jada. Like, I'm wearing flats, yeah, it's like it's slip it's over. Have, um, good grip tape or it does say enter at your own risk, so if you do die, it's your fault. You're not very uh comforting, Natty. Okay, just wait. Okay, I'll take your phone, Jada, and I'll pass okay, you once you're on the stairs. Okay. Just go slow, okay? Okay, make sure you got a good grip and. Definitely pretty cool. Which way should I go, right or left? I think uh this way's lost like steeper. more of a drop. Yeah. Okay. See the different layers here. Oh it hurts. Uh, ow. That's where we came from. Ow! Chilly on the butt. Wash your hands, hand squeezing through. Yeah, I think I thought this was the opening, but maybe not. Just keep your head down, you might have to crawl. Yeah, I did. I'm covered in cuts. I'm embarrassed. I look like I just went into a urinal. You okay? I have such bad knees, yeah. Yeah, it's going to just go slow. If you don't want to do it, don't, don't hurt yourself. Does it still keep going, Addy? Yeah, it kind of keeps going. Oh, you're rolling now. Yeah. <laughs> now don't crawl anywhere. Like I don't know if you guys have heard of the uh, Kenny John yeah. story. Kenny Jones. Jones. Yeah. yeah. Don't do anything where it's like thank you, thank you. you can't get back out. Yeah, it's definitely, it's not as tight as the cheese grater. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. He's already on his way. I'm coming. Alright, let me turn around.
Where's the opening? It's right here. You go to claw through like maybe a three feet space and then you're there. Like it can't be that bad if they're letting people go by themselves. For sure. You just got to know when to stop because yeah, some I'm people good. push their boundaries, right? Yeah, I'm good, Dad. You okay, Jada? Yep. You're doing great. I don't know where I'm going. I just, I just slid through. Mm -hmm. first. So I'm going to have to go a little further because then you can see the exactly what I did. Oh, there's a puddle. Oops. Good thing it's waterproof. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, and, and you can I'll show you how to do it. Okay, I'm just gonna like hand stand. <clears throat> okay, <I'm> gonna... <sighs> oh, wow. That is tight. Addie, where Jada is right now, how much further? Well, I'm like at the opening. Okay. It's narrow, sweetie. Just squeeze. This is looking back out, guys. This isn't like too, too bad here. I could have like crawled on my hands and knees, but. You guys coming back? No. Why? It's gonna be a lot more harder to get back. <laughs> yeah, Addy, you're coming behind Jada? Yeah, I'm not doing this. Good job, guys. Yep, and Jada's right here. Keep your head down, Judy. You're coming to that tight spot. Sorry. Come on, light. There we go. Oh. Yep. Yeah, she's almost through that uh, hard spot there. keeps dying. Yeah, she's coming. What's wrong, Ed? I'm sorry, it just it hurts. <laughs> Can I not say my mouth? It's definitely tighter to get up. Okay, scooch out so mom can squeeze up. guys we're inside the mine here massive front uh, portal entrance we're turning around right away we are walking down a fairly steep incline a 
yeah, this is definitely sharp left here. You can see some of the older bacon straps above. Still going down. I might just turn off the camera uh, just so we don't waste battery power and whatnot. And uh, when we get down a little bit further, we'll touch base with you guys. A little bit further down, we're coming up to, I believe, a T intersection. And Cheyenne is ahead of us there. Just careful, guys, it is slippery. <laughs> that's uh that's not creepy I don't know what is you guys can just wait here if you want I wonder if this goes all the way to the other side all concrete is off Wow There is a lower level and they have a big pipe coming out. I don't feel like we have gone far enough too, but we'll just keep going. Our kids are still back up the hole. It is starting to flatten out a little bit, but we're still going down an incline. This is very big at it. So it's going to definitely be a little bit difficult to uh, capture everything. Still going down. So we're well below the lake. Yeah. That it's either a very smooth spot they faced out. There are some water lines there, probably piped into a, a spring. Very jagged rock here. I'm assuming they probably have gravel, or they had gravel once upon a time, because it would be really rough for the trucks to get on up here. Yeah. Very slippery. I got my hikers on and slipping and sliding. Gotta go a little bit to the side here. I'm just going right in because I'm not going I can't risk my ankle. Our original plan was to go to Greenwood uh, this trip just Cheyenne and I, but the kids all were able to get time off. So we decided to come to the island. And it was definitely a, a great trip. This is our last night here. We'll be taking a ferry tomorrow night to get home. Probably uh, we'll get home to two, three in the morning. And then we gotta be up at work uh, by seven the following day so or seven that morning actually well uh, we're just going to continue our way down and uh maybe we're getting to the lower at it so we'll see in a second so there is light coming up here and it kind of looks like it goes off to the left a little bit yeah i can see it i'm assuming that's the lower at it so in total, we've, we've walked, if this is it, a depth of about one and a half kilometers on an incline. Because when we drove past this lower level, that's what we were at. With, uh, that's how long it took from the lower at it up to the upper at it. Not so sure how well the audio is going to work because of the sound of the rushing water. And if this is the lower at it and it doesn't continue, well, this is definitely not a very, you know, 
it's still worth exploring, but nothing for any artifacts or any like anything to really look at. We do have a little safety bay here. Or maybe just a little mud pocket. And yeah, that's it. It's kind of like they were just trying to find, uh, just in chasing the vein. Have not seen really anything from mineralization. Cheyenne's up ahead investigating. But uh, I'm just going to shut the camera off again, guys. And uh, when we get down to that light source, uh, we'll let you know what it is. So when we were driving up here, um, we saw some workers with some water lines. And it looked like they were running water out of the lower attic. And I do believe that we're coming up to the lower attic here. Um, so... Either sections of this mine were very, very flooded. Um, we do know that they're planning on doing some work here. Um, they have a man-made lake up here, which they use um, to help run the turbine. And um, they want to make the turbine significant, or sorry, they want to make the lake significantly deeper. Um, but they are planning on continuing to work this mine. And so far, it doesn't really look like there would have been a whole lot done. There's no stokes. It's just a long audit with the tiniest of drifts, so um, you can't see any mineralization or uh, any seams. Oh, yeah, so this would have been all underwater. That is impressive. So as you can see, we're coming up to a big dam here. And then that's the bottom, and I think that you're looking at. When Adam gets here, you'll be able to see it better. Kind of disappointing. A lot of water here. So that's the lower at it, eh? Yeah. There should be a way out on the right there. It's kind of like, what do we do? Do we go back up or just hike? Okay. It looks pretty deep in that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Almost two little waterfalls here. See, I don't know. That might be different. Yeah, it's got a big metal door, so I'm definitely going to go check it out. So, made it over. We're definitely getting into a... Uh, look at the size of that door. They close that almost. Okay, that might be the exit. Wow. So they might, this must be kind of like a folding tank for water. Yeah, because there's the water pipe that's going to go right up to the outside. Hopefully you guys can see that. That goes out. I'll show you guys this massive door here. It's huge. Easily 12 inches thick. Massive locks on it to close it. It's got a gauge here. Incredible. Part of me is wondering if this is even a mine to begin with. You know, is this maybe how they supply the lower mountain with water? Crazy. There is an active mine 
uh, lower down, probably about four or five kilometers down. And we heard that they built a man-made lake so that they can use the water to run their generators uh, by turbines. They're spending billions of dollars. I don't know if it was monthly, yearly, but it was cheaper in the long run to do this than it was uh, to just power electricity on site, which is incredible to think. That's it guys. This was maybe not a mine after all, but it was still uh, neat to get underground. It's gonna be a little bit of a tight squeeze to get out. Get back to our campsite, go enjoy the rest of our night.